Hey everybody, it's Frank from IT. Well, she's up to it again. She's she's no tech wizard or anything, but <sighs> she's, she's touching wires and stuff. So let's see what she's up to. Well, hello everybody. So today what we are doing is getting um, getting the internet to my work computer here in the living room. Now, because my company does not allow us to use Wi-Fi, we have to be plugged in through an actual cable. Um, I ran into a little bit of an issue because my internet, boy, it's wiggly, hold on. Well, hello everybody. We've got a little project today. I've been um, unpacking and getting everything organized. I've got my craft room and office combined into the dining room here. And one of the issues that I have to deal with right now is internet for my work computer. Um, I do have Wi-Fi high speed um, internet here at the apartment, um, Wi-Fi. However, my company does not let us use Wi-Fi for work um, computer uh, connection. So I have to be hardwired in with an actual internet cable. Now, the issue that I have is that my internet, um, the router, is in the master bedroom closet. And I have tried all of the outlets throughout the nearby um, areas to my work computer. There's one in the kitchen and one in the living room. They're both still about 20 feet away from my computer and I tested them and neither of those work and I played around with the modem and router and all the switches and stuff in that closet and couldn't get it to connect. Um, in the past I've had much better luck but yeah you know. So I had from a previous place, a like 60 foot Cat5 cord for data. And I ran it from here all the way across to, <clears throat> I ran it all the way through to, ooh, sorry, to the panel in my closet here, okay to the router there. Now, with that being said, I don't really want to live with this cord running through the whole apartment. So what I've been doing, um, I had a couple of options. I could either run it up and tack it along the ceiling. It wouldn't look great, black cord against the beige and white. Or what I came up with was tucking it in to the seam of the carpet between the carpet and the baseboards. And I figured I would show you guys how I'm doing that just in case anybody else has this same kind of issue going on. Whatever kind of cord it might be. So, um, let me show you what I'm doing here. Now, let me get uh, let me get this all set up so that you can get a nice clear view. All right. Now, if you're at all familiar with wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and how it's installed, uh, let me show you here. There is a tack strip. Right there. Can you see that? That pine board with the little 
sharp nails sticking through. That is what they use to hold the carpeting up against the wall. I don't know if you've ever watched carpet layers, but they have a tool where they bump it with their knee to stretch the carpeting across the room. But those little tacks are extremely sharp and you don't want that piercing your cord, especially if you're doing this with anything with any kind of power to it. Uh, not a good idea. So that board usually has a bit of a gap between it, oops, and the wall itself, right? Right along here. So what I'm doing is just using some pliers to pull my carpeting back and pushing my cable down into that little gap and then pushing my carpeting back onto that tack board. Tack strip. And you can't even see that it's there. Now, what do you do when you hit a doorway? Well, I'll show you. All right, so here I have a threshold going into the bathroom and um, <clears throat> it's pretty easy around the door because it's the same deal as far as the door jam with the tack strips. It's going to get a little trickier when you get to the actual threshold. So let me just put this part in and we'll take a look at, yep, it's got one of those. Okay. I'm just going to put it in a little bit more and then we'll go from there. screwdriver in case I need to get in there because that one got right on top of the tacks. There we go. And there we go. Okay. And let me reposition you again and I'll show you what we're going to do with the threshold there. Okay. With thresholds, when you're going from carpeting to a hard surface like this, Typically, they'll either have a wooden or a metal transition. And what this metal transition is, it has those carpet tacks along the carpeting side. And then there's nails periodically, probably six inches apart or so, um, nailing it into the subflooring underneath. So. What I did, and again, I'm in an apartment, so things, the craft, craftsmanship here isn't necessarily what it might be in somebody's home, but what I did was I pulled this up. Probably be better if I had a pry bar. Let me go grab that. I just grabbed a putty knife. Actually, this is a glazing tool for glazing windows. But I want the flat end. So, without damaging my floor, I'm just gonna pry this up so that those nails come loose from the subfloor. Now this is typically going to be cut so that it is a very tight fit with your door jams so that there's no room 
And once again, it pried to get your cord through there. So you got to get it kind of on a diagonal so that you can get your cord through that space. side's done and let me get the other side You can do it. Almost. Come on. If you got a metal one, you can kind of bend it just a little. Not so much that you warp it out of shape, but just so that it flexes a little bit like a banana shape to get it shorter and get your cord through there. Come on. That's right there. There. Okay. Whew, broke a sweat. All right. There we go. Okay. Now we have to get that threshold back in. So let me back you up again. So now, let's see here. Got it up. I want to make sure that my cord does not um, get bound anywhere. There's carpet padding under there. I'm probably going to put the cord just, just above the padding so that I don't have to worry about it getting pinched between the hard subfloor and the metal threshold. Alright. Now, ideally you'd really nail this in, but I'm in an apartment and I don't have proper tools because, you know, heck, Guyver's my hero, so I don't even have a hammer. Um, what I did, I just found the holes and pushed them back in, but ideally if you do that, it's going to be a little loose you would want to put new nails in new holes usually they'll have put the nails in like every other or every third hole in that strip so you just move everything over by one um, but that's not an option for me right now once i have a hammer and i buy some nails are good but so i'm just gonna find my same holes and stick it back in and start from one end and move to the other. So let's see here. There we go. Where's your hole? That's what he said. Okay. Can't find the hole for that one. Must be there. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. And that one. And that one.
Mm -hmm. I didn't find a right hole on these here, so I was. Let's see here. I might need to just hammer that in. Or I can just put my girthy girl weight on it and push it down. I need a hammer for that one. That would be no problem if I had a hammer. Um, I know you can't see what I'm doing. They all went back in to their original hole, except for this one. See, these are those things I was talking about. This one, for some reason, isn't lining up with its original hole. So if I had a hammer, I could just pound that back in. I'll find something I can use. Like that screwdriver. And then just push the carpet back onto those pins. And away we go. Back around this one. And, uh... Whoa, I really broke a sweat. Holy cow. So I don't have too much further to go. One more door jam across here, another door jam. And once I'm in the closet, I really don't care. I'll probably just run it up along the side of the door and then over to the box, whether I go all the way up to the ceiling and then back down, I don't know. Or maybe I'll just go, no, what I'll do, I'll just go to about there. And straight up with all the other cords. So that is my uh, train wreck tutorial on how to hide your uh, cables in an apartment. Yeah, right? Okay, I need to go cool off. I'm really sweating. Or as Grandma would say, Women don't sweat, they glow. Okay, I am glowing like a banshee. Okay. This is the, uh, the set of panels that I attempted to uh, find the correct connection for either the kitchen or the living room. But it's just a jumbled mess and I couldn't figure it out. I'm not, I'm not trained in such matters. So, um, anyway, I have it all finished. I had you know, about eight feet of extra. I just went around twice around the box, plugged it into my router and it goes straight down into the carpet and let me grab my tools to put them away. You guys always get to put away things with me. Okay. And then, um, there was a seam here careful with those because you know don't want to tear your carpet apart where they join together and around and around and around I still have to tuck that in that'll just take me a moment and then it runs behind my shelving and up to my computer okay now that's it okay Bye, guys. 
All right, I gotta give it to her. It looks a whole lot better than just running a cord through the room, but it's probably a fire hazard. Then again, I don't know that a phone line can cause a fire. I don't know. I don't know, but uh, looks looks good. I'll give her that. All right. I don't know how many more of these projects she's got going, but let's hope it's over with.